Hey guys, it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I have done this piece. I was working in browns. I was making brown work. <laughs> and I did, in my opinion at least. But I had some leftover paints and I thought, why not? Let's play around. I wanted to try to do a Dutch pour, kind of, and then do some chain pulls through it and see what happens. So, let's see what happens. So I had these colors left over and I thought, why not just play around? So I'm gonna lay down, I really have no idea about this one. I'm gonna lay down my base. I have some chains here, so I'm gonna do a Dutch pour. I loved the colors that I used, lime green, sky blue, uh, blue green, and brown, believe it or not, and copper. And I think I'm just going to play around a little bit, swipe some in some places with the chain. I'd seen Olga Sobe do this. I think it was with a funnel pour. She did a couple chain swipes in it and it came out kind of cool, honestly. So I'm gonna try. If you have leftover paint, it's the best time to play around. So what I actually did there was made my base very um, thin. I turned my blow dryer on cool, which for my blow dryer, which is Revlon, everybody always asks me, um, it the cool setting blows it a little bit harder than the low setting. I normally just blow on low. Um, but I wanted to get a really thin layer because when I'm gonna do these chain pulls, I want it to be um, the base to be pretty thin. So I probably should have thought this through a little bit more. <laughs> so I'll do my brown. I think I want to have a blowout here and then maybe some chain pulls. Yeah, we'll see. And I may even just blow with my mouth. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to go this blue. bit of the copper on top or a lot you know a lot of the copper on top. <laughs> okay um maybe just a little bit around this Okay, so this is actually a good way to show you what I was talking about. If you don't have a good base layer on, all your colors will blend and roll over each other, but I'm okay with this for now. Okay, so that's that side. I almost dipped my face in it. Okay, so now I'm gonna come on this side over here. Maybe I do just want just a little bit more paint on these areas. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Also layered these different than the other time and you can see the difference this is much more like a blue green color because that's on top so it's really important when you're layering these I'm gonna blow this one that way
think I'm getting some pretty organic shapes here. So I went over this a second time and this part right here actually muddied a little bit. So that's something else to think about. So I think now, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I think I'm going to take just a little bit of my colors through here. I really should have a little stick to do this because I don't want them to be that um, kind of soupy in there. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Going to put it right along there. Woo. <laughs> okay, let's let's see where this goes. I've already started it. Yep. Yeah. I've already started it. Kind of interesting, actually. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna keep going with it. I'm gonna keep going with it. Um, I'll do one over here. I'm gonna start with the lime green because the lime green is right there. This is kind of cool something different. My best ideas come when I play around. It's just kind of how it is. Creating new techniques and... Okay, here we go. Laying it very gently. because this was like very green through there. Maybe a little bit of brown. I'm so proud of myself for playing with brown, honestly. And a little bit of light blue. Okay. It's kind of, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of cool. I think I want one more right in here. I need like that blue contrast right in there. Tiniest bit of green. I will leave out the copper because it's over here in both places. And I'll leave out the brown. Hmm, do I like that one? I don't know. like a 3D feel to it. The jury may still be out on this one, guys.
Huh. Okay, now let me see what I can fiddle with in here to get something that I like. I want to leave the space here. Just a little bit of contrasting brown right there. Yeah, I don't love that. Don't love that. When you don't love it, you just put something right there. because I, I really don't like that part. Probably everything I touch, you guys are like, no, don't mess with that part. And I don't love this section right there. Oh, that was a lot. That was a lot. But if you can catch it and drag it, you can drag it off the canvas. Like that. That one actually ended up being my favorite one. Okay, so now that I did these, I feel like I have a bunch on both sides here and nothing up there almost. Maybe I'll have one that interconnects right here. Oops. Well, I guess I'm going to be squiggling that way. <laughs> I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Like, I tried, right? Oops. Nope, no good, no good unsteady hand on that one. Hmm. The composition is not there for me personally, but I think the idea is extremely cool. with any of those anymore. I think the only thing left I want to do is 
just below over in this area just a little bit. Almost to cover this area right here. Put a little bit more white down. I don't like the way that kind of sucked back in. What do you do when you don't like it? You squiggle. And the best part is that looks like I did it with that. <laughs> Are still here watching me go through my creative process. Kudos to you. Not my usual, <laughs> but it's still kind of cool. I think these chain pull lines are kind of cool. All the different lines that you get in there. That's really pretty. I just think it needs a little bit more composition work, but for a first try, I am pretty happy with this. So let's see how it dries. I'll show you guys the dried result. Okay, so I don't hate it. <laughs> um, but I'm not super in love with it either, but I am glad that that copper has a little bit of shimmer. I, I do really find it interesting, the different lines and how they kind of look 3D. Um, it's just composition, not quite there, but I'm working on it. You got to try stuff, guys. Just be ready to just accept it for what it is and learn from it and move forward. And that's what I'm doing. I actually love this piece. I think I'm going to call it Sea Creature. Well, I don't love it, but <laughs> I appreciate it. I should say that. I appreciate you. Piece of artwork. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye.